Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to The Real Legend of Gaming. We are here with Arena of Valor, folks, and this is another episode of Everything ALV. And in today's episode, folks, we're going to be doing a hero spotlight on the newest hero, Whips. So let's check it out, folks. Whoa, okay. All right, folks, so Whips is actually a marksman. So Whips the Firecracker, this is how she looks. And uh, this is her other skin called Buccaneer. Well, it looks kind of cool. It's like a little pirate ship or something. I like that. All right, so let's get into the abilities. All right, so her ultimate ability is called Shock and Awe. It is a physical attack. And uh, Wisp bombards the target area six times, dealing 200 physical damage each time. The damage from bombardment can critically hit and deals 50% additional damage. That's a lot. This ability must be channeled and has a maximum duration of 3 seconds. Moving or using another ability after 0.6 seconds of channeling will interrupt this ability. So that's good to know. Just reading that, it, it sounds like it deals a lot of damage, but you kind of expect that with a physical damage ultimate, right? Alright, next up is Barrel Bomb. Whiff slides the fuse and rolls out a barrel bomb. The bomb deals 200 physical damage to enemies along its path and shows and slows their movement speed by 30% for one second. So write that you can read and just, you know basically distinguish that it is a physical and control move, just like it states. The bomb explodes when it reaches the target destination or runs into an obstacle dealing 300 physical damage to enemies in the surrounding area and stunning them for one second. Damage in the enemy here will reduce the skills cooldown by three seconds. All right, next up is Loose Cannon. Wish charges forward and enters barrage mode, firing bombs with her normal attacks for five seconds, each bomb dealing 45 physical damage to the target and surrounding enemies. Also increases Wish's attack speed by 10% while active. That's a decent attack boost. So she'll be shooting faster, and I just noticed she has like little shark guns. That is so funny. This Buccaneer skin is so cool. Alright, and then the passive is called Ignite, also physical and control. When Whip's HP reaches zero, she ejects all of her remaining bombs, dealing 400 physical damage and slowing enemy movement speed by 25% for 1.5 seconds. If multiple bombs damage the same enemy, subsequent bombs only deal 50% damage. Yo, that is a crazy passive. Uh, this reminds me of... I don't know if you guys ever played Call of Duty, but there used to be a perk when you used to die. You would drop a grenade and then the opponent who killed you would just randomly just... You know, not randomly, but he would get killed as well. That reminds me of that. So, pretty cool right there. That, that's actually a really good passive because it can save your team. You, know, you can die and you feel like, man, you let your push go. But this can really help it out. Alright, so uh, we went over the abilities. Now, let's see some gameplay, folks. Alright, so cool. So now that we have um, all the abilities unlocked, let's test out Wiz. So right there, as far as laning, uh, well, actually not laning, but taking out these minions, she does a lot of damage from a distance. And I can understand why she is a marksman now. Because originally, I thought that maybe she was like a, a warrior or a tank. And that's just, you know, going based off the fact that she's in a mecha suit. But I understand now. So there goes the barrel bomb. Wow, that's pretty good. And her first ability, you saw she was able to jolt forward. She seems pretty good so far. I got to admit... It feels a little weird though. I, I feel like compared to like the other type of heroes, it's a little odd having someone who's kind of like a, you could say kind of like a, a mecha warrior, war, mecha fighter. But um, moving speed is okay. Slow for marksman, but deals a good amount of damage. And. I, I would say her firing speed is pretty decent as well. But I like the range. That range is pretty solid. Not as good as Teleana's range, but it's pretty good. And let's see the 
now that ultimate awesome that's an awesome ultimate right there for the simple fact that the radius was pretty big you could definitely capture like two heroes on the opposite team or if three of them are bunched up together for a push let's try this barrel bomb now not bad either and it stuns the opponent allowing you to chip more damage while you're you know while they're running away we already know that with the passive she'll drop a bomb and do damage to the opponents all right so folks that's pretty much it so that's our hill spotlight for Wiss. i mean a weird for marksman i still think it's weird um just based on the design i you know it's a mecha warrior to me but justifiably she is a marksman right the range is there attack speed is okay i think that would be something to focus on originally i said it was good but it's all right you know but she does deal a lot of damage and uh she's great for clearing out minions so i don't i really don't i think wiss is pretty good and i just like this right here that ultimate abilities radius i think is the most impressive thing the barrel roll is okay too but if your opponents are constantly moving it could be a little tricky but nonetheless pretty good hero i think every hero is good you just got to figure out how to use them and wiss has an easy learning curve because everything is just like straightforward and understandable to use and her passive is pretty solid too so that's pretty much it folks all right so that is the end of the hero spotlight for whiffs appreciate the support folks be sure to always check out the hero spotlights on the youtube channel we cover every hero when they release and describe how the abilities work along with gameplay of how the movements and character interactions function as well all right check out these awesome wisp pro tips aka wisp tips one Wisp should max out loose cannon first, then barrel bomb. Two, Wisp is bad against heroes with high burst damage, such as Wukong. Make sure you keep your distance from Wukong to avoid getting killed easily. Three, Wisp's combo starts with barrel bomb. Predict the opponent's movement, then stun them, followed by shock and awe for damage. If the enemy went outside of Shock and Awe's circle, then use loose cannon and normal attacks to chase the target and secure the kill. The combo sequence is Barrel Bomb plus Shock and Awe plus loose cannon plus normal attack. 4. Good Arcana for Wisp includes Skewer, Rampage, and Reeve. Also get Flicker for her, as it helps with those clutch moments when she needs to escape or get a kill. 5. Wisp can first take the tower by using Shock and Awe to push back heroes. Then she can push the tower down together with her teammates. Thanks for watching today's Hero Spotlight on Wisp. See you on the battlefield.